Hey everybody, I wanted to make a real quick video today on how to install these T-Post clips. Now I've been working with T-Post and these clips for years, but I never took the time to figure out how to do these properly. And I'm going to show you three ways. One, the first way which most of us newbies try to figure it out and do is by using pliers, typically needle nose pliers. But it's difficult at best especially on your fencing. I'm using goat fencing, it's four by four squares, but there's also no climb horse fencing, which is a two by four square. And it's, sometimes it's just difficult to get your hands through. So basically what you do with your pliers is the small little, you got the small section and then you got the bigger clip section here. You just put your small over the wire there, bring it around. Now you have your pliers. And what you gotta do is you gotta grab these and twist it around and it's just kind of sometimes you have to go over here to get grip on it and turn it put your hands through the fence it's just kind of nonsense and this is what I've been doing and you want to try to grab it from this side so you can bend it downwards it's really just yeah see pain in the butt to do. As you can see I'm still trying to get it bent down and then you got to grab this side and bend that side up. And I actually got some play in there. It's not even very tight. So there's that way. That's the first way that most of us newbies do it with pliers or needle nose. And it works. It's tedious. It's going to wear on your hands and it's just not right. The second way is you can go buy yourself a T-Post clip installer. <laughs> I didn't even know that thing existed to be honest with you. But if you don't know about it or you don't pick one up at the time you're getting your fencing then and you don't want to go back into town, they're about 13 bucks to buy it. It'll make your life easier but especially if you're not doing very much fencing, you may not want to spend the money. And then the third way which I find works for me because I don't have the fancy smancy T-Post clip installer. Can you guys see down here? Nah, not too much. I'll put another one up here. You take your T-post clip, same way, hook it on there, bring it around the back side. You get a screwdriver. Now I'm using this little stubby one right here. The screwdriver needs to be big enough to fit through the holes on the fence. If it's too long, you're not going to be able to twist it around. So that's why I'm using a stubby. So depending on the size of your fence, screwdriver will work. So once you insert this piece over, hold on, let me tell you, take it off. So this clip is gonna go around your fence. This piece right here is gonna go underneath. You're gonna stick your screwdriver in there and twist it around. Real simple. So let's, you can see this. Let me, let me give you an adjustment. That was about that. Okay, so little piece on, that piece over, underneath the wire, and you just spin it around like that. Spin that around like that, it's on there, get your pliers. For this one, you don't even have to do this step, but I like to do it, I twist it up, and it's just super tight. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this bottom one down here, same way, get my clip. Pull this in, put that on there. Goes over. There it is. Look at that. Just tight. So I hope this video helped you to not struggle so much with these T-Post clips. Thanks for watching. Like, share, comment, subscribe.